Hello my friends, this is Jonesy Boy here and welcome to Electric, where I bring you electronics for the electronic freak. Today I'm going to be talking about my ANET A8 3D printer. I did some upgrades recently, I just want to talk about them. I did a Bowden upgrade to this system and it was fantastic. Uh, some of the things that I dealt with, so I had to increase the print temperature so that it didn't have, have to uh, put as much pressure on the filament to push it through the uh, print head. So now that that is uh, fixed up and taken care of, the uh, Bowden upgrade works very well and I'm pretty pleased with it. One of the other things that I did is I 3D printed this chain for the Y axis. It's a cable chain, so now that the cables are not hanging up over the top of the printer, now they're just going across like that. And it, actually, I really like this cable chain a lot. Uh, some, of the things, uh, some of the things I'd like to mention about the cable chain is that it does uh, not bend well with uh, certain pieces, but that can be resolved by you uh, just kind of sitting there and bending those chain pieces for a little while and just kind of making them a little bit loose, and that will help out and make that chain work out pretty well. Uh, currently, I also did uh, print some... Uh, mount pieces for my GoPro, so my GoPro mounts directly to the build plate. I plan to modify uh, some more of these printed pieces that I did so that I can have uh, the GoPro mount mount directly to the front of the build plate instead of angular like this. I do like the idea of having the GoPro in the front and I think that will work out pretty well. One of, I'll include some of the files that I used for this uh, cable chain as well as the uh, GoPro mount pieces. So I want to show you what the time lapse looks like now with the GoPro mount right in the corner mounted directly to the build plate. I think it looks a lot better. Um, some of the stabilization needs to be fixed because the GoPro does kind of shake a little bit when the uh, bed moves back and forth. So I'll have to fix the GoPro mount so it's more solid directly to the build plate and uh, my modifications to that will be posted on Thingiverse when I take care of that and get that done. Now let's go take a look at the headphone stand that I 3D printed.
If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If not, you know what to do. Make sure to make a comment down below if you have any comments on this video or content suggestions for future videos. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.